follow-up to Mospita, which all of you know as the new generation, there was an additional volume of Mospita made after the television series. You could call it an extended 26th episode. However, for some reason or another, the merchandising rights was were never resolved. Uh, it was kind of like uh, the uh, Macross the movie, you know. It was like those merchandising rights were up in the air in North America until you know a couple of years ago, and everybody was scratching their head. Now, how come you know uh, we never did that before? But also, Love Live Alive is um, we checked with Tatsunoko, we found that nobody had licensed it, and so we decided to take the rights to it. And uh, you know, people had been asked us about it, and uh, this was something um, we were actually starting work on with Carl on this, but he had unfortunately passed away. And so now uh, we're actually doing some work. And uh, here's uh, a good shot to give you a little bit of a demo. If you look here, uh, that's a zoom in to show you some of the uh, noise reduction that was done, is we've actually done a clean transfer digital remaster. And if you look here on the left and the right, uh, the original quality of the footage was akin to that of uh, uh, the legacy release of uh, the original electric television series. Uh, you know, it looked it looked okay. It was clean. It was acceptable. But now, uh, with this uh, remastered version, you'll notice that it's the cleanest presentation available. It'll be cleaner than even what was released in Japan. I uh, want to let you know a little bit of what was going on up there. Is uh, not only did we clean up the footage. Uh, there were all there have always been problems with if you ever watch anime where there's a slow pan You'll notice sometimes it jitters because television traditionally until the advent of flat screen TVs Operated at 29.97 frames per second mm -hmm. and film was recorded at 24 But the thing is ever since widescreen DVDs and the onset of blu-ray and flat screen TVs They've supported the 24 frame per second. Well, actually, 23.976, but we can round up. Close enough, the 24 per frame per second standard. And so when we've done, uh, we actually did a quiet experiment. We did this on the Sentinels without actually announcing this or saying this. In Sentinels, we actually did what was called an inverse telecity. Instead of having it display at the 30 frame per second standard that uh, TVs, the old TVs were known for, you went to the new flat screen standard, it's now at, at, at a true 24 frame per second. And so if you notice the Sentinels, the interlacing is virtually gone. And also with uh, the new presentation for Love, Love, Life, we're stripping uh, the, uh, all the interlacing out. Or actually, uh, the way we're doing it, it's just never there. So we're actually sticking with the original frame rate of the film. So it's closer to the way the original uh, anime producers intended and not working with the technical problems that TVs had before. So it's going to be the cleanest presentation to date. You know, I know, you know, the HDTV aficionados know this inside out and, uh, you know, it might sound very technical, but what it essentially means is it'll be the uh, best picture to date uh, presentation of that. And uh, here's a little bit of uh, some of the work we're also doing for extending the episodes is we're doing additional design and 3D work so that some of what you've seen, you might have seen earlier is, you know, one of the uh, feedbacks we got from uh, uh, Rope to Shadow Chronicles is that, you know, the CG rendering in it, you know, as nice as it was, it still looked too CG and it didn't mesh as well with uh, the uh, uh, cell animation scenes as one would hope. And one of the things that you just, uh, see from the past is even look at the early Japanese anime, such as Blue Sub 6, look at the stuff done towards the end of the decade. And in that short span of time, the technology is improving so much. So something we're also doing here is the cell rendering techniques are improving to the point where, uh, you know, uh, with what we're doing here for the additional scenes for Love, Love, Alive, they look much better now than before. You know, they mesh much better with the anime scenes. And so uh, that's uh, something we look forward to So uh, one thing about the look here is uh, you might have noticed that it's uh, quite retro uh, in the sense that uh, uh, Shadow Chronicles is very modern here. It's definitely a huge throwback to the 80s look. Uh, just a quick unscientific poll. 
How do you feel about the retro 80s throwback look? I like it. Yeah. 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 All right, so uh, this is what we're looking forward to. Uh, actually, uh, how are we on time for the next panel? Uh, okay. Ten minutes. Time. Time to stop. Oh, really? Oh, oh. Yeah. We're, we're so out of here. That's why we did our Q&A first, so thank you very much.